Hello everyone, my name is Ilin. In today's episode, I will be introducing the Epson Throw Distance Simulator. The Epson Throw Distance Simulator is a HTML5 web application used for calculating the throw distance between the screen and Epson projectors. This useful simulator can be found on the Epson website using the link below. The simulator can be accessed using web browsers such as Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Microsoft Edge browsers. The simulator has two modes, simple and advanced. Simple mode is used for basic setup calculation. The settings are limited to basic information such as throw distance and screen size. Advanced mode includes more complex settings such as projector angle, ambient light settings, as well as setup involving advanced functions like edge blending and curved wall projection. You will need to select between the modes before you start. Select simple mode on the simulator to start with simple mode setup. You will then see three options, search projector, categories and specification. Search projector allows you to input the projector model number that you want to use for your calculation. You can either input the model's name fully or partially, then click on the search icon. Corresponding models will be displayed and you can select the projector model through the pull-down menu. The next option is Categories. This allows you to choose the projector model from the category list. This option is useful if you do not know the projector model and only know the categories the model belongs to. The last option is Specification. This can be used if you know the specification requirements but are unsure on the projector model. It will allow you to input specifications such as brightness, resolution or throw ratio and will display all the suitable projector models. Once you have selected the projector model, the projector's basic specification will be displayed. Click on the Spec Info button to see the detailed specifications of the model. If the projector model has the interchangeable lens option, you can also select from the lens list the lens model that you want to use for the calculation. However, those models that are greyed out are discontinued and unavailable. After selecting the projector model and lens, input the settings on the simulator. You will need to select the projector position, aspect ratio, units of measurement to use, as well as the room ceiling height. You can also enable the lens shift range if you want to use the lens shift function for your setup. Once enabled, it will display the lens shift values. You will also be able to determine the maximum lens shift you can use for your setup. This function is only applicable for models with the lens shift function. When enabled, the brightness guide will help you determine if the projector's brightness is enough for the setup. It will display brightness values on the lower left side of the simulator. You will also need to select the simulation mode. If you know the throw distance and want to calculate the screen size, select the throw distance to screen size mode. Then, input the target throw distance on the right side of the simulator. The simulator will display the screen size that you can achieve with the targeted throw distance. Move the pink slider to display the minimum and maximum values. Alternatively, if you want to calculate the throw distance with the target screen size, select Screen Size to Throw Distance Mode. Input the target screen size on the right side of the simulator. It will display the throw distance needed to achieve the screen size. Move the blue slider to display the minimum and maximum throw distance values supported. Once the calculations are completed, you can save the simulated result into PDF file format. To do so, you can simply click on the output button at the lower right side of the simulator. Now, you're ready for the advanced mode. To start using this mode, 
select the Advanced Mode button on the simulator. There will be three additional settings under this mode. Install Condition, Curved Surface and Edge Blending. Install Condition allows you to input the target throw distance and screen size to determine the suitable projector model. You can also set additional conditions like brightness, lens shift, ambient light as well as the type of application you want to use the projector for. Once you have selected the projector model, you will need to input installation conditions such as basic room setting information, screen size and position information, throw distance and advanced settings such as projector angle, ambient light settings and so on. Under basic settings, input the room size information, projector position and unit of measurement to use. For screen size and position section, input the projection screen size, aspect ratio, screen position and offset settings. The throw distance will be automatically calculated once you input a target screen size on the simulator. Alternatively, you can manually input a true distance value in the box. You can lock the screen size by ticking the box next to the lock icon. Once locked, the screen size will be fixed even if you change the throw distance. This can be used to display the minimum and maximum throw distance supported for the screen size. Advanced setting allows you to set the projector angle and ambient light settings. For ambient light settings, you can confirm if the brightness of the selected projector is sufficient when you input the ambient brightness and screen gain. Brightness and contrast guide will indicate whether the projector brightness is sufficient. You will also be able to see the actual brightness and contrast values on the screen. If the brightness of the installation environment is unknown, you may select the use case under application. The general brightness will be selected automatically. There is also an out of spec mode under advanced settings. Enable this function to simulate the unsupported screen size. The Simulator Advanced mode also has four view modes which automatically update in real time as you change any setting. These views display the projector's position which is useful not just for installers but for AV designers as well. There are four view modes available, Front View, Side View, Top View and 3D View. Next under Advanced mode is the Curve surface. This is used to calculate curved wall adjustment using the Epson inbuilt curved wall function. To use this, simply select the projector model that you want to use for the calculation. The rest of the settings are the same except for the additional screen shape settings. Under this setting, you need to input the type of curve as well as the projection's curved depth. This is needed to determine if the curved wall adjustment is within the projector inbuilt curved function specification. The simulator will display two comments. First, whether the Epson inbuilt curved wall function can be used. Second, whether the projection focus can be adjusted. If there are non-optimal results, the simulator will recommend settings to be adjusted. Last in the list is the edge blending simulation. This function allows you to calculate the projector quantity needed and the blend range according to the required screen size when using the Epson inbuilt edge blending function. To use the edge blending simulation, first search the projector model that you want to use to simulate the edge blending function. Only models with the edge blending function can be found on the simulator. Next, choose the installation position of the projector. Then, select if you want to do a flat edge blending or curved edge blending. 
Next, input the target screen size for the edge blending. For curved edge blending, you will also need to input the curve radius, angle, screen height, and lens height. Next, input the aspect ratio and target blending range. Our projectors' supported blending range are from 15% to 45%. Lastly, input the maximum quantity of projectors to use for both horizontal and vertical directions. Please take note that for vertical direction, the simulator can only calculate up to a maximum of three projectors. Once all the information has been input, click on the Execute button. The simulator will display the edge blending options for the condition. It will display the number of projectors needed, screen size per projector, blending overlap, as well as the throw distance required. You can then select which of the options is most suitable for use. The simulator will display the projector position as well as the installation angle. You can click on 3D view button to view the installation image in 3D. Once calculated, you can save the simulation result in either PDF file or .json file format. The JSON file format can be reloaded to the simulator if you want to check the simulation results again. This ends today's episode. With all the functions available with the Epson Throw Distance Simulator, I strongly encourage you to use it for your installation and design calculations. Thank you.